Hello and welcome to Mr Edwards Forest School. Today we're looking at bug hotels again. Um, we've already done this in the woods and I think we saw some pretty good bug hotels made of nice dead wood, lovely stuff. But in your garden, which is where we really want to see lots of bug hotels because we want to see insects everywhere, um, you might not have exactly what you have in the woods. I mean, you might do, you might be able to bring it from the woods, but if you couldn't, um, there are alternatives and you'll, you'll see probably lots of ideas on the internet anyway if you wanted to. Um, but for today, what we did this morning, we've, we've made, my children, um, another bug hotel here. Um, I've used a chimney pot that we've got lying around, which is great, it's kind of giving them shelter and protection. Um, and inside we put some dead wood and then lots of kind of tubes. We've used elder where we've drilled the middle out. We've put some elder in that, to let the insects drill the middle out. We've also made um, some of these. Let me just show you if you can see that. So we've got... Um, basically just a tube and um, this is actually from the inside of wrapping paper but I mean anything that's not too thin um, and it's got a bit of that's masking tape just any kind of tape to hold it together because insects are going to go in there um, and they can be protected and you get lots of flying insects that want to live in those kind of environments um, you just want to get it sort of full up if you can with all these tubes um, and there you go I'll give you a closer look So in the end, we have um, lots of tubes, different things, and some dead wood. Um, children always like to add stuff, and I think that's a great idea. So my, my daughter's made a slide there, a chance to practice your knots. This is a seesaw here, um, which goes backwards and forwards. Um, and there's a swing that goes up to a tree nearby. Um, we've also got a little platform here, and already um, some snails have been sort of placed under there. Um, insects will find their own way in here, but we have got a, an old chimney pot, you might not have one, but you can certainly make something um, with bricks, tiles, um, anything you really got lying around. If you didn't have something like that, um, you could also just use an old plastic bottle and cut it, so it's a similar sort of thing, and then you're going to stuff twigs, sticks, bits of elder, paper straws you've made, whatever, um, that'll be fine on the ground or perhaps even up in a tree. Um, just show you around the back, so obviously there's another entrance if you like. Um, in there we've got some old nuts we found and some uh, bark and things like that. So you're, you're given quite a nice little micro environment for insects. Of course you can come back and check it. Um, Mrs Champion talks about having a square of carpet um, similar to this um, which insects love being under and you, you can peel it up and place it down, you know, check your insects and put it all back and that's great too. Okay so there's something to have a go at. Um, it'd be really cool to see those in everyone's garden. Okay, so good luck with that.